Hello out there, it's Living the Good Life and I have another estate sale finds video for you. Um, I've actually been having some luck the past couple of weeks. As cold as it is and just getting out and getting to some family run estate sales because these days the only way I'm getting any kind of really good stuff is at a family run sale or a garage sale. So here's what I found. Um, at the sale where I got the bags of jewelry for a dollar each, I also found this vintage um, jewelry box. It's got the red velvet interior and I put some of the jewelry in it that I have um, found over the past few weeks. Um, that one was I think two dollars. Then I found this at an estate sale. So we got there at about 7.30 for an eight o'clock family run estate sale. There was a guy that we knew in line in front of us and they let us in about 20 minutes earlier and I'm looking at stuff and um, I said, oh, it's kind of hard to see. And she said, yeah, the guy that was here earlier had a flashlight. I said, pardon? Because <laughs> you know? it was supposed to start at 8. Well, somebody had shown up even earlier than us, you know, probably at around 7 o'clock. And they let them in. And he's looking at a flashlight at all the jewelry. So it's a wonder I was able to find anything. So this is what he left behind. Uh, is a, a black onyx and 14 karat gold bead and clasp necklace for a dollar. Here's a sterling silver uh, chain with a, a dolphin pendant with 14 karat gold accents. That was a dollar as well. There were a couple of men's cuff links that I snapped up and that was um, these that have the fake tiger's eye and the mesh. Those seems to be kind of popular. And these have a blue stone and just standard cuff links. Uh, there are two of these mosaic brooches. One with the red and one with the blue. I just, I can't help but pick those up. I don't know why. Maybe it's because I'm Italian and they're made in Italy. I just like them. And then we did find a spot of gold. There was just some of these. And they are 14 karat marked on the post. Teeny tiny, but still really good. And let's see what else. So I started going around and around this little tiny house. And sometimes you have to reverse and go the opposite direction to be able to have a different line of sight. So I saw this. It is one of these 1930s poodle topped. Sometimes they have a deer. Sometimes it's a different kind of animal. Um, it was a dresser box and it was $2. I got the Hollywood Regency style gold uh, trash can for $3 and it does have the liner. That's really neat. I like those. There's this and it is a jewelry box. Got some few stains on it, but you know, when did you buy jewelry and actually got as nice a box as that? So I just picked it up for 50 cents. There was another um, basket full of umbrellas and this was a brand new one. Totes for a dollar. If you're anything like me, you're always trying to find an umbrella that's not broken. My last one in the car is still is broken for some reason. Got this lipstick and you can't really see it real well on there. I'm going to pull it down here. This lipstick holder for a dollar. And do you remember your mom having these on the vanity? My mom still has hers on the <laughs> on the vanity in the bathroom. Sometimes your lipstick these days won't even tubes won't even fit in there. But that was a dollar. This whole mirrored tr dresser tray that are so popular right now, fifty cents for the whole thing. So I hope you enjoyed seeing everything. I think that's everything. Maybe I didn't forget. Uh, if you have any information to share, would just like to chit chat, but um, please send me a message. And I really appreciate your subscription. Um, you know, I, I'm kind of like every other YouTuber out there. The majority of people who watch my videos aren't subscribed, and I would love to have you have a look and join us on a weekly basis. Take care. Bye bye.